Well, we're finally at the end of our Unix System Administration Essentials course. In conclusion, let's recap what we've talked about during this course. First, we talked about getting around in Unix. We covered getting around at the command line and how to kind of navigate around in Unix and its directory structure. Then we went a little bit more in depth and looked at managing system boot and services. We looked at inetd, we looked at rc.conf and a few other important things that we need to look at when trying to manage the system and how it boots and what services start up. We also looked at managing users and groups. We now know how to create user accounts, add them to groups, and configure passwords and manage those users. We also looked at administering the file system in Unix. We looked at how to create and manage partitions, slices, and file systems. Then we took a look at backing up the system. We looked at tar and gzip and bzip and how they can help us create files and back them up so that we have good backups of our system. We also looked at how to create backups using CD-ROM and burn these tar files and other backup files to CD-ROM and DVD. Then we looked at managing software. We looked at how to manage and install ports and packages in BSD Unix. We also looked at managing hardware. We looked at how to take a look at what hardware we have installed on the system and how to install certain pieces of hardware and manage that. We also looked at configuring X windows. We looked at how to look at the zorg.conf files and we looked at how various Linux and Unix distributions manage X windows. We also took a look at performance monitoring and logging. We looked at how to manage CPU, memory, hard disk space, and other aspects of our system to ensure that it's performing at the level it should be. Then we took a look at network connections. We looked at how to manage network connections, how to configure network devices, and how to make sure that our computer can communicate adequately on the network. We also looked at network services themselves, followed up by configuring network security, because we can't have a computer hooked up to the network without it being somewhat secure. Then we looked at configuring system security. We looked at how to make sure that our system is hardened. We looked at how to make sure that we are using the root account properly, and many other aspects of system security. So in conclusion, we've looked at a lot of different different things. We haven't covered every single thing you'd ever need to know to be a Unix system administrator, but we have covered what we thought would be the essentials, things you absolutely have to know to at least administer Unix on some small beginner level. Now, of course, there's a lot to learn out there and a lot to know, and that will come through learning and experience on your part. It's been a great pleasure to be your guide through this course and hope you use it to further yourself as a Unix system administrator.